It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Wickler Pilsner. Here it is, green bottle. So I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be slightly kind of, uh, what's the word? Not on the back foot. Um, apprehensive, that's the one. Slightly apprehensive with this one being in a green glass bottle. Um, normally in Germany, this being a German beer, of course, uh, the Germans kind of recognise brown glass bottles as to not skunk the hops in the beer. So it's very unusual, very unusual for a German brewery to use green glass. But they've been brewing this beer since 1887, Pils tradition. Um, it's from Dortmund in Germany. It's 4.8% ABV. It's in a 500 milliliter, milliliter bottle. Can't talk today. And we have a lovely looking bottle cap there. So I picked this beer up from beersofeurope.co.uk. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. So good amounts of carbonation on the bottle opening. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at the carbonation there. Really quite. And thankfully, the carbonation is really quite kind of strong, isn't it? Lots of carbonation there. There's no widget on the bottom of the glass. It's just lots of carbonation. We've got a three finger white head. Um, lots of carbonation, straw colored beer. Uh, let's get the aroma. I was about to say, thankfully, no skunk whatsoever. Normally, when you pour a beer as almost violently as I did today, you fully expect a big kind of rush of skunk, if there is indeed skunkiness in the beer, but it's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So the beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors, beersofeuda.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video. If you've been to Dortmund and you've drunk this beer, you really like this beer, you want to drink more of it, then the best place to find it in the UK would be beersofeuda.co.uk. Link in the description box of the video. So aroma, proper aroma on the beer then. It's just a very clean pilsner. Absolutely no skunking whatsoever. I'll talk about skunking in a moment. But a very clean, crisp. Refreshing aroma to the beer, a little bit of crisp malt. A little bit of pepperiness, spiciness on the back end. And a touch of lemon. It smells good, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, decent, decent, decent beer. <clears throat> very clean, very crisp. The hops coming through on the pills now, terrific. I've been, well, I've had a bit of a splurge, haven't I, recently? <clears throat> I get told to pick the beers from Beers of Europe, and I just can't help myself. I go to the drop-down box on the left-hand side of the website, and I just hit Germany every time. 
over the last three years, I've been drinking more German beer than, or not, well, whenever I see it, I buy it. But something's clicked in my mind. I was an ale drinker. An ale drinker, a stout drinker for years and years and years and years. And then I discovered really, really good German beer. Some of you might remember, I was doing German beer reviews all the way back in 2012, 2013. And I really wasn't fussed. I really wasn't fussed whatsoever. I'd say, ah, you know, it's all right, lager, but, you know, it, it doesn't taste like an ale. It doesn't taste like... But that wasn't the point back then. The point back then was I, I, I loved my double IPAs, loved my stout porters, sour beer and all that kind of other stuff. And I didn't kind of regard... I didn't kind of give Pilsners, Helles Lagers, didn't give them a chance. Didn't give them a chance. So I'm really thankful for the last three years, which I've kind of got to grips with it. I've opened my mind to good quality lager and it's it's terrific, terrific beer. Little bit of sweetness to begin with, lovely, Clean, crisp tasting beer. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. There's a fantastic bitter pills finish on the back end. It's not overly bitter. It's not like IPA bitterness, but it's that lovely, fantastic. They make the beer so clean. The beer is always, always so clean from Germany. So, like you're almost... Like, I'm nearly halfway down the glass. Or I will be in a moment. And I'm almost already thinking about the fact that I only have one bottle of this. And I wish I had four. I wish I had four bottles because it's so blooming good. It is so blooming good. It really is decent. Wicker the Pilsner. Do you know, I've never heard, never heard of it. Never, wasn't even on my radar. Um, brewed under the Reichheischerbot, which is the German purity law. Have to brew your beer using only four ingredients, water, malt, hops and yeast, to be able to legally, in Germany, call it a beer. And it's Wickler Brewery. <coughs> so, um, I was going to talk to you very quickly about skunking. Now, it's really important I talk to you about this. I've got another German beer here. This is Tusha. Brown bottle versus green glass bottle. The reason why... Now, I've got, I've got 11 German beers down here. And they've all got this brown glass bottle. The reason why the German brewers put their beers in brown glass bottles is because light penetrates either clear glass or green glass. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> So was it a fire outside? And it's really bad. I'm gonna have to close that door in a bit. But what happens with the clear glass and the green glass is that the light from the sun or ultraviolet light in supermarket shelves, the UV light penetrates the bottle, penetrates that clear glass, penetrates the green glass, and bang, it's a chemical reaction that stops the hops tasting like lemony and maybe slightly grapefruity slightly earthy in some cases, to skunk. 
skunk. Now, I used to say skunk on the back of a skunk's backside, but it's actually the other skunk, the skunk that, you know, people smoke. So, you don't want that in your beer because it's smelly. Skunkiness is smelly. It's horrible. It's rubbish. Rating for this lovely, lovely Pilsner. Good look to it. Good aroma. Fantastic taste. Fantastic drinkability. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real L Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.